In this example, we're given three sets, A, B, and C, and asked to illustrate the associative identities with these sets. Remember, the associative identities are the ones we have listed here, where essentially it says if we have the union of three sets or the intersection of three sets, it doesn't matter where we group the two operations. In other words, if we group A union B and then take the union of that answer with C, or if we do B and C first and then take that answer and take the union with A, we'll get the same answer. And the same thing with intersections. It doesn't matter what order we do these operations in, we'll get the same answer either way. So we can group things however we want. We're not going to prove these identities, but we'll illustrate them with these sets and see that they check out. So for part A, we'll take A union B first. starting with everything in A, and then adding in any elements from B that aren't already counted. So 2 and 4 are already there. We'll add in 6, 8, and 9. And then taking the union of that answer with C, we'll start with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 8, and 9 and then add in anything from C that isn't already listed. We already have the 1, the 3, and the 9, so we'll add the 10 and the 11. On the other side, we'll start with B union C. So we'll start with everything in B, 2, 4, 6, 8, 9, and then we'll add elements from C that we don't already have, which would be 1, 3, 10, and 11. And then when we take A union with that answer, we start with A, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and then add in anything from B union C that we don't already have. We have the 2, the 4, but everything else we'll add in, 6, 8, 9, 10, and 11. Again, noticing that the 1 and 3 are already listed. And if you look at those two sets, you notice you get the same thing, so that identity holds in this case as well. For part B, we do something very similar. A intersect B first. We look for what elements belong to both A and B. We notice the 2 is in both of them, and the 4 is in both of them. But that's it. And then if we take the intersection of that answer, with C, we'll look for what of 2 and 4 is listed in C. Notice neither one of them is, so that's the empty set. On the other hand, if we do B intersect C first, we look for what's in B and C. The 1, the 2, 3, 4 are not. Neither is a 6 or 8, but the 9 is. That's the only element that's in both B and C and then A intersect with this answer. Of course, there's no element that's common to both because the nine doesn't appear in A. So that too is the empty set. So we haven't proven these identities, but we've simply illustrated them and shown how they can work.